Hi, my name is Peter Redpath. I'm with Win Winchester Galleries on Broad Street, across from Pagliacci's famous restaurant, Victoria Restaurant, and I'd like to talk to you for a moment about um, our current show of work by no, Burrow Sawai, who's 80 years old now. He lives in Vancouver, and he is famous for his prints which uh, compare European imagery with Asian. And the European is uh, typically uh, rather uh, rational in its material, secular, uh, very um, accessible to everybody. It's canonical, part of the canon, in other words, accepted by the world. It won't affront you. And then that's the way life is today, isn't it? Uh, so much of artwork is uh, non-challenging, but there's the other side of life, the uh, the uh, passionate, the unpredictable, the, as Freud would say, the id side, the opposite of the superego, and um, the mystical, and uh, somebody called uh, the great German sociologist uh, Max Weber equated mysticism with erotic art. I mean, which is Sawai's main mandate. He's looking at life in terms of the potential of erotica. Mild erotica, it's nothing that would upset anybody, I'm sure. But here we see um, an image from the Kama Sutra, and then there's some Picasso-esque elements here. Aren't they terrific? What fine line drawing that is. And they're contained in within, um, of course, a little prison in the form of a 17th century um, English birdcage. Glorious little work. This one is sold, but I bet the artist has another 20. So as the the masses flock in to Winchester galleries. They will not be, the masses shall not be disappointed. Don't know what else we can show you. Um, so many allu different illusions here. He's a famous teacher. He's taught in virtually every western country of the world. And in, in Japan also. His work is in um, many dozens of museums worldwide. As a teacher, he's uh, extremely well known uh, in, for um, his discipline of printmaking. Up on Baffin Island, he found out that the Inuit were um, very taken with the with myths, with the importance of the the uh, seal hunt, a different type of seal hunt than Newfoundland, of course. And wouldn't it be nice if there was a seal hunting machine to facilitate the hunt, to take the risk out of of the event? And here. We see a, a spoof or a, an image suggesting the, um, his answer for the Inuit. There's even a little place to crawl in and have an erotic experience and, and to keep warm also. And an, an unusual uh, component of our current show here is a, a 
wall of very early um, Pat Martin Bates work. Many of you will know that uh, Pat Martin Bates is uh, surely the doyen of the local art scene and renowned throughout uh, Canada for her printmaking prowess. Many of these works date from circa 1960, when she was uh, uh, truly a, um, a unique innovator in the field of printmaking. Uh, she would uh, take parts of a zinc plate, or uh, just one zinc plate, and collage or collet little pieces of metal onto it and after they everything was inked and was passed through the press lo and behold um, some areas of the paper would be embossed so we see as strong elements of uh, embo embossed uh, Quality. Would the word be embossment, maybe? I don't know. Sometimes a hole is cut into a plate, so some fabrication in that way is required. And other, other times to build up a plate, she would uh, uh, apply the composite material used for making false teeth. This was uh, unheard of when she first started doing it. Of course, the, the images are abstract, but they're iconic. Um, the circle, the square, uh, textures, colors uh, also come into, flow into the equation. Um, the imagery is formal, but uh, entirely captivating. She's one of, uh, surely one of our um, Victoria's and Canada's greatest artists for this uh, uh, whole genre. We highly recommend you come out uh, to this show because uh, um, it gives such a fine idea of her uh, amazing contribution to the visual arts. And of course, we all. Uh, Many people know that um, there probably was never a finer teacher than Pat Martin Bates. So uh, what, a, what a provision um, this person is and has provided for us. Um, yes. Perhaps it was that long.